Textual requirements describing timing-dependent logic are simple to read, but difficult to formalize and verify. With Simulink Test, you can author temporal assessments with precise meaning and semantics using a form-based editor. Graphical representations allow you to visualize the results and debug design errors when simulated. I will now demonstrate how to author temporal assessments. Let's consider two requirements for this heat pump system. The first one verifies that the room temperature always remains in a valid range. The second one checks that the pump is active for a period of time after a triggering condition is satisfied. Let's start with the temperature range requirement. I'll switch over to the test manager. In the test manager, I open a test case using a test harness for the heat pump model and add an assessment. I build the assessment using predefined patterns. This signal must remain between valid bounds. I select the type of check which corresponds to the assessment, and I use an expression to define the conditions. In this case, the difference between the room and set temperature. Notice that all the symbols are initially marked as unresolved and automatically added to the symbol table. We'll see in a moment how to resolve them. I specify the upper bound and collapse the assessment to see an English-like description of the requirement. For the second assessment, I'm choosing a trigger response pattern. I need to select a pattern for the trigger condition. In this case, I want that the test be triggered when the temperature difference is above some threshold for more than two seconds. I type an expression corresponding to the trigger condition and will specify the minimum time that the condition must be true. Then I select a time reference corresponding to the time when the response condition must be evaluated. And finally, I choose a pattern for the response condition and fill the condition and minimum time. I can collapse the assessment to see a readable yet precise description of the requirement. The requirements are now formalized. The next step is to map all the symbols to specific elements in the system under test. I click the symbol in the table and select Map to Model Element to bind the symbols to the model. This opens the harness in bind mode. I now select a signal corresponding to the room temperature. This signal will be automatically logged during the test case execution and will, will be used to evaluate the assessment. I repeat the same operation for the set temperature. Finally, I go into the controller and map the pump command to its symbol. I close bind mode and collapse the symbols. We can also map symbols to MATLAB expressions. In our case, the symbols can be mapped to constants. I can create links between the requirements and simulator requirements and the assessments for traceability and impact analysis. First, I select a requirement, and then I add a link to it for the first assessment. Notice, a link is added to the requirements, and verification status is yellow because the test has not been run yet. I then create a link between the second requirement and assessment. From the Requirements Editor, 
test cases linked to the requirements can be run directly. I run the tests, which will invoke the simulation. After the tests run, we close the dialog. And notice that the verified statements show that the test failed. We can navigate to the test results for the linked test case. When I click on the assessment, the results show an expected graphical description and the actual results. We can see that the signal crosses the upper bounds around 10 seconds. A textual explanation gives more information about the type of failure. To investigate further, the assessment expression tree is reported and I can use Simulink Data Inspector to explore all the signal values and debug the test case. In summary, you can author temporal assessments to capture time-dependent signal logic with precise semantics. The assessments are readable using natural language statements, and the results of simulations can be visualized and debugged.